If you're interested in cheap holidays packed with free cool things, stay tuned. Hi, Orlando from Wishcasting. Did you know that Seychelles can be damn cheap? On our previous episode, we showed you this. On this video, we'll talk about the best deal for the most beautiful island of Seychelles, La Digue. Our top priority is saving money and having a local fun experience. We have low-cost travel guides for Dubai, Italy, and plenty more. Tap this pop-up above and check them out. To get to La Digue, you have two options. One, in case you want to spend more days in La Digue Island, take the ferry independently and book your stay there. I really recommend this option. If you just want a quick taste of the islands around, then go for option number two. Take the guided tour and it lasts just one full day. You get a nice taste of everything around. do everything on our own however we were told that this was a super premium tour so we give it a shot the price is extreme 185 euros per person but arranging it all on your own would cost you twice let me explain what's included private chauffeur pickup and drop off at home you have a speedboat from Mahé to Praline and then to La Digue and then back to Mahé you got all the bus transfers on the island entrance to two national parks with a guided tour entrance to the beach Ants Sous d'Argent in La Digue considered one of the most beautiful in the world, lunch buffet in a four-star resort and spa, La Domaine de l'Orangerie. If you want to go on your own, it's around 150 euros return ticket per person. That's just a ferry to one island. If I had to choose between an all-inclusive package of 185 euros and a 150 euro ferry round trip only, I definitely grabbed the 185 euro package. The downside of 185 euro package is that you need to stick to a schedule. From Praline to La Digue is only 15 minutes. Huh? We woke up at 5 a.m., had breakfast on our usual balcony, and got picked up by our chauffeur driver. English breakfast tea, and again, passion fruit, Nutella with bread. So we've been picked up, and now we're going to the uh, pier. We've been given tickets and this bracelet for all the tours. We went to the port in Victoria and took the speedboat to Praline. That's Victoria over there. That's the castle of the sheikhs right there, Abu Dhabi sheikhs. We then went to the Coconut National Park, Valle de Mai, and had a wonderful experience. We found out so many things about coconut trees that surely you don't know about. Did you know that some species of coconut trees have a penis-shaped protrusion, covered with flowers full of pollen, and other branches have female-like organs that open only 24 hours? Lizards walk all over and transfer the pollen generating the fruit, aka coconut. If this fecundation doesn't happen within that 24-hour frame, the hulls will close and no coconut will grow. The pollen in the yellow flowers of the coconut tree smells like popcorn and honey if you crush them. After that, we went to La Digue and enjoyed the buffet in this wonderful resort. Food was Indian cuisine based. The place was incredibly gorgeous. So damn worth it. You'll see when you go there. Enjoying the video? Consider subscribing. You'll be updated on new travel guides and get the best, cheapest tips. We don't get paid for these travel guides, so all possible support helps. Immediately after, we went to the most acclaimed and beautiful beach in the world, Anse Source d'Argent. did snorkeling and saw so many different species of fish. Some super colorful, some curious, and some not. We then sunbathed with fruit cocktails by the beach. My memory's gone erase, like a scratch only the scar. Straight after, we went to the vanilla plantations, coconut oil factories, and to visit the centenary turtles. Check it out.
We were extremely tired after all this, and we were taken back home by our chauffeur driver. It was an amazing adventure. On our fourth day, we went back to Anslilet, where we saw the Russian reality TV show, remember? We saw on a sign, Kalu and Sugar Cane Liquor for Sale. Uh, so we were wondering, why not go and check? So we went in and checked the brewery. Kalu, or palm wine, is an alcoholic drink made from the sap of different palm trees. Look up into the palm trees, and you might see a bottle hanging down collecting tree sap. As the sap drops into the bottle, it starts to ferment. So after just a couple of hours, the alcohol percentage can already be up to 4%, so practically like a beer. If you chill it in the fridge, it is much more delicious. It's best to drink within a day or two, or it'll taste like beer. It was a very nice experience to see all the process. We sat down and enjoyed some free samples. We bought some and had it home with ice cream. If you're confused and can't find the places we've been to, don't worry. Down in the description, just right below, you can find a link to all the places we've seen on the video. They're all marked in the same color. Print it and take it with you. We felt quite safe on our holidays, almost everywhere we went. However, you must know that despite the country's economic prosperity, poverty is widespread due to a high level of economic and wealth inequality. Be careful for people trying to rip you off. It will happen very often. In the evening, we went for dinner at Maria Antoinette in Victoria. The location is fantastic. You're on a super steep hill in a super tropical summery villa made out of white wood. It reminds you of Tampa Bay and Hawaii, the exact place where you wanna be after a full day on the beach. Just please don't eat here. The food is terribly salty and expensive. Come here for drinks, enjoy the place, but don't eat. You really feel on a holiday here, really, I promise you that. We still have one day left on the main island of Mahé and three full days on the island of La Digue. On the next episode, we'll be going to the mountain of Mont Blanc, to a tea factory, and we'll discover the secrets of the famous island La Digue. Subscribe and don't miss our next video. Ciao.